I think Coolsville sucks. What you call an icon living? Try to make a little mistress, just did it. Now I love you for five minutes. Oh, we are too hot in the place. Hi guys, it's Diana and today I'm going to be doing a tag that, you know, I haven't done a tag in like such a, a long time. I don't think I've done a tag since like November. I was like, oh, I need to stop doing tags. And then I stopped doing tags and like never did one again. So today I'm going to be doing booktube real talk tag and this tag was created by Alyssa over at books with Alyssa J I was tagged by Serenity as well as Jake from Jake does books what is something nobody told you about booktube before you started your channel so before I started my channel nobody really told me that like how like difficult it is to film and not like film in general like finding time or anything but like dealing with camera shyness like now I've gotten to the point where like I'm cool with it but like I remember my first video like I was so shy and it was weird because I think I was so shy because I was in a room by myself talking to myself basically into a camera like you know and then I uploaded it I didn't know how many people were gonna see my video like I didn't know who was gonna care like and like the more my personality start to show the more I start to feel like I was becoming comfortable with being on camera and like now your girl is here like what is your opinion on typical booktube videos like wrap-ups hauls tbrs etc personally i really like them and like i do it because i just like to keep track of like what i'm reading and like what i buy and like things like that and i do think that those videos do help a lot because they do get good views except sometimes they don't like you know they don't always do okay and it just depends on like your channel and your audience because you could upload a wrap up and like your wrap ups not be big but like you can have like discussions and your discussions be big you know or vice versa it really just depends on your audience like i noticed before i had when i had 2000 subscribers nobody cared about my wrap ups but now that i have 4000 subscribers like some people actually care about my wrap ups now like you know i think it just depends on your audience what is an assumption you had about booktube before you joined was it proven to be correct or not i thought that like joining booktube nobody would care about me because all i ever seen was bigger booktubers but then i realized like because I, I've never seen anyone, like, lower than, like, 100,000 subscribers. Like, I didn't watch any booktubers that were lower than 100,000 subscribers because I didn't know that they existed. And I was always like, why do all these booktubers, like, do they just, like, blow up? I don't know what I thought, like, exactly, but whatever it was, it ain't that. Like, you know, like, I realized, like, when I got into booktube more, you get bigger booktubers on your feed because they're bigger. And so if you get recommended one bigger booktube, you're going to get recommended another bigger booktuber because they have, like, around the same subscriber amount. Now that I watch, like, smaller booktubers and, like, medium booktubers and all that stuff, like, I get recommended a variety of them. But I feel like if you watch smaller booktubers, you're only going to get recommended smaller booktubers, if that makes sense. I'm not saying, like, that's, like, the case, like, 100%, like, all the time. I'm just saying, like... Question number four. What is something you've done that actually helped you grow your audience? Being on Twitter and commenting on videos, okay? Like, genuinely comment on someone's video, like, showing them that you watch their video and not just comment just because you have to comment. Like, I think that that helps a lot. Like, honestly, commenting on videos and book Twitter. Like, Bookstagram, like, nobody on Bookstagram cares about you. Honestly, like, I remember promoting my book, like, my booktube channel on book instagram and like nobody cared like nobody was like clicking my link i would always be like hey check out my channel and nobody was messing with me like bookstagram only cares about bigger bookstagrammers they only care about bookstagrammers they do not care about booktube but on book twitter like if you promote your book blog your book twitter your bookstagram of course you will promote your book twitter it's book twitter duh if you promote your booktube like i feel like that helps a lot like i feel like people see my tweets and like i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh like haha like i'm sometimes funny y'all i'm funny as heck like i am so funny like sometimes i'm laughing while i'm tweeting things so of course i get like followers from being funny like i'm hilarious and then I feel like I tweet real stuff sometimes and so people see my Twitter and I have my Twitter linked in my Twitter bio so people will see that and they'll be like oh like she's funny she has a channel watch my videos and they see that in my videos I'm still funny too so <laughs> I feel like Twitter really helps and if you're funny that helps as well 
I mean, you don't have to be funny, but, like, people, like, if you're, like, really sweet on Twitter, people be like, oh, she's really sweet and cute. Because I do that all the time. Like, I'll see someone and I'll be like, oh, they're, they're really cute and sweet. Like, I'm going to go check out their channel. Like, things like that. Like, you know, you don't always have to be funny. But when you show your, like, your personality shows on Twitter and people will see your personality and people who like your personality will subscribe. What is a common mistake, mistake you see new booktubers making or one that you made? Okay. I see a lot of newer booktubers joining booktube because they want free books. I see a lot of like smaller booktubers like joining booktubes because booktubes joining booktubes because booktubes what is booktubes <laughs> joining booktube because they want to get free books and it's like sis we can tell you're just trying to get free books here like like you can't you can't just be out here requesting arcs and then getting a bunch of arcs and like not reviewing them or anything because if publishers peep that you're doing that they're gonna blacklist you like nine times out of ten and i just feel like if you are joining booktube because you want free books like i don't know what to tell you because you have to work really really hard and not saying like um even me with four thousand subscribers i just received my first arc like in february so it's not always easy getting physical arcs girl i girl like i'm talking to this like we're like best friends but we are like you know girl i request arcs on net galley all the time and i get denied i got denied for all of my most anticipated books the devouring gray wicked saints which i have the physical arc because i requested the physical arc so in your face net galley in your face um so don't join booktube if you think that you just out here about to get free books because no like you have to work for it what are your thoughts on working with publishers and sponsorships i say do you boo boo do you i never understood why people got mad when bigger booktubers did sponsors or like pu like work with publishers even when i watch like regular youtube and like it would be like a beauty guru and like they would get sponsored people being in concert like oh this is sponsored video blah, 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 blah. And it's like okay and watch it and contribute to their coin or don't like i don't know what to tell you like i just feel like there there's a special type of jealousy when people get mad about working with publishers and sponsorships because there's nothing wrong with that like everybody like they're just out here trying to get their coin they worked hard to get to where they are and now they're being paid off like why are you mad do you think booktube is dying no i think booktube is the exact opposite i think that booktube is growing okay so i just feel like what was the question i don't think booktube like i think booktube is exact opposite booktube is growing if you notice like there are so many people of color on booktube like there are so many like black girls joining booktube and that makes me so happy because that's what we need like we need more people of color and more black girls and more dark-skinned black girls to you know grow on booktube and um i just think that booktube is growing as a whole like everyone's everyone is making a booktube and it makes me so happy to see that this community is growing because booktube is one of the most smallest communities smallest and unrecognized communities on youtube and then the last question is tag your friends okay i have i have a lot of friends and most of my friends aka serenity and jake already did this and mika has been tagged but she's not gonna do it so i don't want to like leave olivia out so i'll tag olivia from olivia Rizzo latte and then i'll tag i don't know who even does tags anymore i tag alien books because i know she likes to do tags and i love watching her tags so like i want to see you i tag yanis reads well i think she changed her book to name to infinite bookish i tag Melanie from Milton Annie, I don't think she'll do this, but like, girl, I'm tagging you anyways. Like, uh, Carrie the Book Bell. I don't know. Like, if you want to do this tag, then do this tag. Like, I feel like who do you tag questions in these videos are always the hardest out of all of them because I never know who to tag. Like, I have so many friends and I don't want to leave anyone out. And like, <laughs> yeah, if you want to do this tag, then like, do the freaking tag, bro. Do the freaking tag, you know? Um, what if I tag Cindy from Read with Cindy? Like, will she ever get to this? Who knows? But, like, I'll tag her anyways. So, like, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sitting through me being annoying. 
I'll see you next time.